Mike, uh, for crypto, it seems like momentum begets momentum. Are we in that sort of a stretch right now? Where are we? Well, listen, you know, four weeks ago, we were down at 30,000 Bitcoin, 2,000 Ethereum, and everyone was pretty depressed. Um, what happened? A lot of things, right? I think A, market couldn't go down, so it went up. But more importantly, you had Amazon, you had Walmart put up help wanted signs for crypto engineers uh, and for heads of crypto. Uh, two biggest company, retail companies in the world saying, we've got to be part of this uh, movement. You had Visa yesterday buy a crypto punk and pretty much say, hey, digital assets is going to be a big part of our business. Loud and clear. We were, actually, we're talking to uh, the guy who runs crypto at Visa. That's their message. Digital assets are going to be a big part of our business. Uh, and so I think you're, you're seeing kind of total buy-in now that we're going to rebuild a lot of financial infrastructure uh, in blockchain-based systems. Um, that plus, you know, when the government tried to jam in crypto regulation, they actually were successful into the infrastructure bill. In one weekend, people heard the crypto community roar. Uh, Washington woke up and said, well, who are these people? And why are they so passionate? There, there are 60 million American voters that love crypto. And so I think in literally one weekend, we became an industry in DC's eyes. And so you put it all together and we've had a huge shift. Now listen, prices will probably uh, stabilize here a little bit and, and consolidate, right? You don't just keep going up forever. But my guess is fourth quarter, you know, the S&P has a good quarter and crypto has a good quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Usually the winners of the year when they're that much ahead, just drive on. What's your take on, on what's going on in the NFT market? I mean, speaking of big corporate giants getting into a crypto visa, buying a cyberpunk. I mean, I don't know if it's if this is symbolic or if this is an actual move into NFTs, Mike, but some are saying, and, and I'm quoting actually Brian Kelly, who's a huge crypto advocate on Fast Money, um, that there are some aspects of the NFT market that remind him of ICOs back in the day, which begs the question, could there be uh, regulation? Is there froth here? I mean, what's, what's happening? Listen, of course there's froth. Listen, there was a... Uh a piece of any NFT art yesterday, right? A Fidenza, which is algorithmic art. Beautiful stuff that I literally could have bought two months ago for about $4,000 that sold for 3.3 million yesterday. Um, I actually think it's the most beautiful NFT I've seen. And so maybe it'll sustain its value, but that's a pretty quick move. And so I think you're seeing, I think 15% of total art sales this year are NFTs. That seems a lot given, you know, the thing didn't, the, the market really didn't even exist four months ago. Uh, and so, yeah, you're probably frothy prices. It doesn't mean by any stretch that this isn't a real industry, right? People get too excited at the very beginning. But crypto punks, when Jay Z put his crypto punk as his Twitter, you know, uh, avatar, you know, one of the kings of culture says, I'm going to use a, a, an NFT as my avatar. It should have told everybody to buy crypto punks. Uh, you know, this is a shift in culture, and I think it's a big, big deal. If part of the NFT craze is fueled Ethereum, Mike, is there Ethereum froth that needs to come out or that will come out, you think? Listen, I think there's a recognition that things are going to be built on blockchains. And so it's Ethereum, it's Luna, it's Solana. It's what we call level one protocols. All have really jumped in the last uh, four weeks. Matter of fact, Ethereum has lagged a lot of these other smaller protocols as people try to figure out in the long run, you know, which one wins. Ethereum is certainly the leader and, and I, I don't see it being dethroned, but it doesn't mean these other protocols wouldn't have a piece of that fabric. And so it's hard to predict where prices go when you have a paradigm shift, right? The paradigm shift is up until recently, people thought, what is this crypto stuff? And now you got Walmart, Visa, you know, uh, everybody saying, hey, I've got to participate. And so I think, you know, it's really an important time in this space. Uh, and I think the prices are, are recognizing it.